Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Bay Area Focus. I'm your host, Michelle Griego. Today, we are celebrating good times and good people, and we are kicking it all off with a jaw-dropping event that showcases beautiful fashion and art and gives a voice to talented emerging designers. Ianod Burrell is the founder and creative director of Fashion on the Square, and she is at our table. Okay, that is some unique fashion that we just saw in the picture there. Thank you, That's thank pretty you. pretty good. Thanks thank so much you. for coming on the show. Sure. So this is exciting. Fashion mm -hmm. on the Mm -hmm. on the square celebrating 12 years. Imagine that. Wow, how do you keep it going for so long? I'm still in awe <laughs> about the whole thing. We started on Union Square, outdoors on Union Square. I just thought, oh, this is a sexy place yes. to have sexy people, <laughs> good clothes, and it emerged 12 years later. And I, I think there would be a hit on my life if I didn't <laughs> do it. So it has really been the hallmark, one of the hallmark fashion shows in San Francisco. And it is that platform where these are designers who... They can do a Paris, they can do a Milan, they can do LA Fashion Week, but they're doing it here. So we're excited that they are here with us and we have a lot of great designers. And it's so cool because fashion is one of those things that just brings everybody together, mm -hmm. right? It really does. And as Stevie Wonder has said, music is the thing that connects all cultures. Mm -hmm. Fashion and clothes does the same thing. Oh. And a couple of highlights this year, Laurence Boss, okay. who is the Project Season 15 finalist, we're honoring her for the Innovative Fashion Designer of the Year because she does something amazing with leather, something that a lot of people can't do with with leather. Okay. But then, thrilled and super thrilled to have Bay Area designers joining as well. And one in particular is a, hmm, I'll let you kind of guess his name, not you, but the, the audience can guess okay. his name. He is a former minor league baseball player. Okay. Turned now tech fashion. And the name of his line is Silent Panda. He's going to be on the runway. One of our... Wait a second. Oh, wow. Okay. Silent Panda? Silent Panda. Well, I think I know who you're talking you about. Think, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Am I Sam right? Taylor? No, that's not who I was thinking okay. about. <laughs> But hey, His name is Sarah good. Taylor. Yeah. And then one of Bay Area's favorites, Lee Ricky. he is a men's wear designer couture phenomena. And he's right here from Oakland, which is great. And then we have Shami Oshun. Shami is an 18-year-old designer oh, that's who is doing something just, just outstanding. And our favorite Raider now, <laughs> uh, former he was something else, Marshawn Lynch, who has his Beast Mode collection. That's right. Yes. Oh, my God. So it he'll be featured. Too. He'll be featured as well. So we are thrilled about these designers. And it's 12 years, so it's going to be fun. I know. It sounds like such great fashion. All right. Well, we are lucky because we actually have video from last year's event. So yes. let's take a look. Take a look. Your love is That's just beautiful. You know, watching all of this, it makes me want to be tall. <laughs> But that's, that's one thing, too, with these designers. Yeah. They fit every size, every. every shape, right? The whole hallmark, another hallmark of Fashion on the Square, we do not stick to the 0 to 4, 6. We go 0 to 22. And that is, I've been a fluffy girl all my life. <laughs> and so I have to represent who I am. And in doing that, I make sure that our shows show that as well. And Laurence, I want to say this, that a lot of people think couture designers only make 0. Laurence is like, no. Whatever your size, you let me know what it is. As each of these designers. Okay, so this little five foot person oh, right you here can, can wear it. some of these clothes. Yes. I know, I feel like I'm being judged. I should have worn something else today. I don't know, <laughs> I don't <fine>. know. <laughs> no, You're it's fine. good. Um, so let's talk about the volunteers because a lot yeah. of volunteers are involved in this event as well. Probably over 40 to 50, our entire beauty team, our hair team is led by Wanda Floyd who has been volunteering her time. Our makeup is led by Miko White who's been volunteering. But these models volunteer their time as well. So you can imagine keeping models from mm, a lot of hours, <laughs> right. but we feed them. They volunteer their time too because all the proceeds of everything that we make goes to a student designer. And to say something about that, we're having a competition this year. Okay. So a student designer avant-garde is competing for the proceeds to for this uh, show, and LaDance is going to be judging. So LaDance was one time on the other end, and now she's on the other end of Project Runway kind of judging the competition. So they are volunteering their time. These students are going to be competing. We're going to choose one. They're going to get the proceeds from the event. But it's a lot of volunteers backstage uh, 
stuffing bags. We're usually there the night before from five to midnight yeah. or one or two. And then after the show, they're breaking down. So I am over the moon happy about all the volunteers who are And helping. tickets are still available. Yes. Okay, that is Please wonderful Please get to your hear. ticket. Yes, and to get your hands on tickets, thank you so much for coming on the Absolutely. show, by the way. Thank you for having me. To get your hands on the tickets to see the 12th annual Fashion on the Square event, just log on to fashiononthesquare.com. And like she said, there are tickets available. Well, you're going to want to stay with us because coming up, to, up after the break, we talk to Food Network star Sandra Lee on how she's helping small businesses. We'll be right back.